Hello, and welcome to the Spirit Realm Network. This is the Secrets of the Golden Runes. I'm Kathy Lewis, your host for this evening, and we are broadcasting live from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on October the 9th, 2020. I hope that uh, I find you all well this evening as we're approaching this time of year when it's turning to autumn and the seasons are changing and we're all starting to feel that great Halloween-y time of year, one of my favorite time of year. And we're going to go ahead tonight and we're going to work on our chakras and clearing out energy. I'm going to talk a little bit about the symbols for each um, chakra and how you can use crystals to enhance some of the clearing of your chakras. And I'm going to pull a crystal as we're doing the chakra cleaning tonight. Hi guys. Hi Anthony and Faye and Michelle. I love that. She's doing like a cool little Halloween thing. So we're going to go ahead and start out tonight by um, calling in our quarters and bringing a great energy area for us to work in. Go ahead and call all your energies back to yourself. Any way that your mind is off to, we're going to become completely mindful. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. And feel nice and centered and we're going to ground ourselves send some roots down through the bottom of your feet down into mother earth we're going to go ahead and visualize a beautiful crystal ball at the center of mother earth and we're going to tap our energies into that crystal so we can pull that energy up and i want you to go ahead and this is one of the crystals we're going to talk about tonight the beautiful quartz crystal helps us to bring energy in so go ahead and feel yourself grounded and connected to the nurturing and nourishing energies of Mother Earth. And I want you to go ahead and bring that energy up and we're going to bring it straight up into our root chakra. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out one of our um, crystals tonight that we're going to use for our root chakra. And this is a bloodstone. And I'm going to go ahead and Put that energy of need, which is meeting our needs and making us feel connected and secure. Um, one of the things we say, we have a little saying for each chakra, I am. I am is the saying for the root chakra. Bring that red energy in, that beautiful energy of stability and strength and Mother Earth's energy is coming to us. We're going to go ahead and bring that energy up into our sacral chakra and we're going to pull the carnelian and we're going to see that uh, a lotus flower open up and allow energies that are stuck in our sacral chakra the sacral chakra is for i feel it's for um, passion and creativity and so we're going to allow ourselves to feel tonight we're going to go ahead and bring that energy up into our solar plexus and we're going to pull a citrine and the citrine is going to help us to feel confidence and strength and that uh, chakra is for I do it's a very action it's for confidence it's for getting out there and doing it's this divine masculine and we're going to go ahead and bring that energy out and fill our whole aura with that protective energy of the divine masculine and then we're going to bring our energies up into our heart chakra. Uh, bring a malachite into our heart chakra. And we're going to go ahead and put Gifu and Wonjo, which is for the gift and joy to our heart. Allow that green lotus flower to open up and clear out any stuck energies that might be in our heart chakra tonight. Uh, you're watching the Spirit Realm Network. Please like and share. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go up to our throat chakra and I'm going to pull a sodalite. And the sodalite is really good for clearing out any energies that are stuck there. I'm going to put Answa's uh, uh, Rune of the Mouth and for clearing out energies to help us to hear and understand and clear out the energies in our throat. And the, the, wor the words we use, I speak, 
I speak. You speak with your throat chakra. We're going to go ahead and bring that energy up into our third eye. And I'm going to use a clear quartz for our third eye tonight. And we're going to put the rune Lagaz, which looks like half of an up arrow. And that is for intuition, knowing and understanding. And that the saying for this chakra tonight is I see, I see. And we're going to go up to our crown chakra. That's the chakra we're working on tonight. And we're going to pull a beautiful amethyst stone. And we're going to allow that energy to come up to the top of our crown chakra. And that chakra saying is I understand. So all our chakra energies are cleared. We're going to go ahead up into uh, our soul star chakra and connect with the divine energy. And allow that to fill our whole aura and our area tonight going to call the north and the earth and the beautiful greens and brown energy of stability and strength and the uh, Native American totem animal is the buffalo. We're going to call the east in the air and the beautiful eagle and bring in the energy of yellow for understanding and healing. We're going to call to the south and the fire and the wolf and bring in the red energy of passion and creativity and strength and call to the west and the water and the beautiful blue energy of uh, healing emotion energy and uh, messages. We can receive messages. And so now we have all the um, directions called and we have brought in the chakra energies of the runes as well as crystals tonight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk just a little bit about the crown chakra. I did pull three runes that I feel correlate with the crown chakra. We're going to go ahead and do dag, dag, which means the dawn. And this is for new beginnings, but also to be in touch with the sun. With the, uh, It's like the east, the um, information, the healing, the bright yellows, the dawn of the day keeps us connected with the divine so we're going to go ahead and put that rune energy on our crown chakra tonight then i have ing which stands for angelic energy or you know divine energy and we're going to go ahead and put that on our crown chakra tonight because that is for understanding and information and helping us to be connected with our divine selves and the last rune I pulled tonight that I feel is connected with the crown chakra is Sigil. And Sigil is the sun, the bright yellow energy of light pouring down upon you, uh, the divine masculine bringing us energy and connection with the divine. Um, I also am going to go ahead and spray some of my sage and frankincense um, spray I make. And I also use moon water and some quartz crystals and then the beautiful crystal that goes tonight with our crown chakra is this amazing amethyst high vibration beautiful um, violet purple colors and it really makes us feel wonderful so we're going to go ahead and tap in with that and we're just going to sniff a little bit of lavender oil to help us feel peace feels great hope you guys are indulging in this wonderful chakra energy I'm gonna ring our dorji bell a little bit and clear if you're watching the spirit realm network please like and share we're doing some chakra clearing and learning about some runes that correlate with our different chakras and i'm gonna go ahead and do my tibetan singing bowl bring in that good vibration And this time of year, we talk about our ancestors and connecting with our ancestors. That We have the Day of the Dead. Um, this is a beautiful rose quartz. I just felt that amazing energy for our heart chakras. Um, and we talk about the thinning of the veil, the, the connection with the divine, the, the more accessibility to information. So we're going to go ahead and tonight really work on our crown chakra allow ourselves to be connected with the divine energy of mother earth and of the bright white light the divine source whatever you want to call the um 
bright light that you have in your life. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, doing rune readings for you guys. We're here on the Spirit Realm Network. Um, you can talk to me in the chat here in the feed. And hi, Mich hi, Melissa. I have a Jennifer Dugan. Hi, Jennifer. Yes, I'm going to jot your names down as I read for you guys. Sorry. No technical difficulties tonight, I decided. <laughs> Jennifer Dugan. All right, Jennifer, I'm going to go ahead and tap into your energy. Um, share with your friends. Let them know that, you know, we're having a great time tonight. We're working on our crown chakra. And as I said, the chakras go, I am, I feel, I do, I love, I speak, I see, I understand. So we're going to try to connect in with all of that. And Jennifer, tonight I'm pulling the rune of your root chakra. I'm going to go ahead and put that on your root chakra. This is need. And this is telling me that for you tonight that you need to pay a little bit closer attention to the necessities of life and um, stay a little more grounded and focused and go out and walk with your feet in the grass. Get that grounding energy. Uh, lean up against a tree. Uh, they call it tree hugging. Get the tree energy. The trees, the roots of the trees correspond to each other all across the earth. So there's information there. There's grounding. Um, I feel like you need to take some time each day and just take a couple of really deep belly breaths and help yourself to stay in your body. Stay in the moment. Become very mindful um, use your emotions, your all your senses to sense on what's going around you. Like I hear the beautiful music. I can smell the essential oils. Um, you know, listen to some really calming music, whatever you like. Because I've had people tell me, you know, certain kinds of music make them feel good. Well, different kinds of music might make me feel good because that's what I enjoy and like. So I feel like you need to take those few moments each day, set some time aside for yourself and really ground, really connect, really um, recharge your energy because you sometimes you get like scattered and you feel disconnected. And especially with all the energies that are going on right now, I feel you're really going to benefit if you just take a couple deep breaths slow down give yourself a minute become very mindful and connected and jennifer i think that it's going to super help you to become more focused it's going to help you to feel more stable and secure that's why we're putting that need that uh, root chakra helps you to feel um, grounded and have a good foundation so let me know how that resonates with you I'm going to go ahead and Michelle Millens. Hi, Michelle. I love your little, I'm sorry, I keep bumping my computer. <laughs> she has a little hand coming up out of a tomb. Okay, let me just jot Michelle's. We're here on the Spirit Realm Network. Please like and share. We have tons of fantastic shows on here. I'm going to go ahead and Michelle, I didn't forget about you. I'm going to go ahead and mention a couple of the shows. On Monday at 8 p.m., we have the Psychic Supernatural. On Tuesday at 8 p.m., we have Animal Whispers. And at 9, we have Ghost Talk. On, on Wednesday at 9, we have the uh, Elliptic Moon Divinations. She comes on and does bone readings and all kinds of cool stuff. And at 10 o'clock, we have Knowledge from Beyond. On Thursday, we have the Metaphysical Roundtable ladies, and they are really cool. They... Uh, broach all kinds of interesting subjects. I think this week they did um, maybe Bigfoot. And then Friday nights, you have the Secrets of the Golden Runes. That's me, Kathy Lewis. And I have the Golden Pathways, and I am a Reiki master. I can do remote Reiki. I can do um, integrated soul activation, uh, uh, meditation activations, and I uh, do room consultations. Okay, Michelle, tapping into your amazing energy and we're pulling your as the wild ox and so i feel like for you 
you have so much energy coming at you. You're super affected by the full moon. And sometimes you just don't know what to do with all this energy. And it kind of makes you um, feel disconnected and upset. So what I want you to do is realize that all of these energies that the moon is giving us, that the planetary alignments, the retrogrades, all of these things are to help us to grow, not to cause us grief or to make us feel disconnected. So when you feel a surge of energy like that, like with the wild ox, I want you to feel and think and concentrate on what you want to get out of that moment. Do you want peace and quiet? Take a nice breath, like we were talking about grounding ourselves. Do you have a goal that you have in mind that you want to work on? So go ahead and send that energy, you know, align, uh, set your intentions, align yourself with that intention, take the actions to make that happen as far on your earthly way. You know, you can ask for things and you will find that you're manifesting so much better because your energies are focused. All this energy is not to make you feel scattered or a little crazy or, you know, like, oh, it's the full moon. Everyone's crazy because if we would take that full moon energy and channel it into something that we are interested in, a goal, um, you will find that that's an amazing, powerful thing for you. And I feel like for you, you have and are in so in touch with all of these energies that you could really, really go far if you would try to use them to the benefit for yourself. Focus, focus, set your intentions, align your actions, and you will find that you're manifesting like crazy. So let me know how that resonates with you, my dear. I see Jamie Lafferty Ritchie. Hi, Jamie. Very cute. She has a cute little. Um, so you're watching the Spirit Realm Network. And we are doing f rune readings right now. We're clearing out chakra energies. And we're working on our crown chakra. So for you, Jamie, right now I'm going to send you a little lavender oils. Bring you some calm and peace. Touch that beautiful amethyst. And I'm going to go ahead and pull a rune for you. Please like and share. Invite your friends. Um, we have a great time on here. There's great energies happening right now. And this is Iwas. And this stands for the U tree. And the, the powerful thing about the U tree is it's been depended upon by soldiers to make their weapons and it's a very um in the nordic culture it's a very central um element in their their mythology and so i feel for you that you can you're the very dependable you're one you're the one everyone goes to you're the one people can count on and I feel like sometimes you need to learn to tell people, no, today I need to work on me. You need to show yourself some self-love. You need to take that energy of that beautiful yew tree. I'm going to put it right on your uh, solar plexus so you feel the strength from it because you're so dependable and everyone comes to you for help. And sometimes they forget when you're the strong one, they forget to ask how you're doing or what's going on with you. So you need to set up a aside time for self-care for you you need to start saying no to people when you're not in the right place to be giving away your energy because when you do that you you exhaust your own resources you no longer have that um, all of your resources that you need for yourself so go ahead and give yourself some self-love tap into that energy and let me know how that resonates for you Okay, I have a Sherry Sullivan. I love my crystal ball too, Sherry. I have some really amazing crystals. And that's why tonight I decided to bring um, the chakra crystals out along with my runes. And just show how you can bring all of these elements together to help yourself to clear energy, to stay connected, to have your um, 
chakras cleared and aligned. So you're watching the Spirit Realm Network. Please like and share. Invite your friends. Okay, share Sullivan. Let's see what we have for you, my dear. And I'm pulling from my Eye of Horus runes. And we have pulled Thorazaz for you, my dear. And I feel like for you, um, that sometimes when you try to communicate something, you wait until you're frustrated with it to start speaking about it. And so I want you to, when, so, when something comes to your mind, I don't want you to blurt it out, but I want you to try to communicate. We're going to open up your throat chakra, put some energy there, um, because I feel like you wait until you're frustrated to speak, and then when it comes out, it kind of sounds like, you're angry and you are because you're frustrated because you've been, you know, thinking about it and debating it and how are you going to say it and perfecting what you're going to say. And I feel like it would be so much better for you if you would just allow it to flow out of you. Visualize like a beautiful ocean around you and just allow your words to flow out like that beautiful ocean water. And it will help you to not only communicate better but feel better because that relieves the strain inside of you when you hold things inside you know everyone says oh you have to have these good emotions and always be positive we all have all types of emotions and none of them are bad it's just our reaction our body's telling us what is going on so if it's how we feel if it's a gut reaction like my stomach hurts when i see that person you're, it's your energies and your intuition telling you what's going on with the situation. So go ahead and allow that energy to come out and s try to s communicate in a way that it's, it will help you from becoming frustrated with people. It will help you to see that the better you communicate and the clearer you are, the less stress you have inside of you. You'll have that beautiful flowing energy in you. And I just think you're going to be so happy that you communicated even if it doesn't sound perfect visualize yourself letting that beautiful uh, ocean flow from you and just sound so wonderful you're here on the spirit realm network please like and share and share i just got you let me know how you like that um jennifer stroman strotman um, she's from California. Yeah, if you guys can tell me where you're from, that's always really cool information to have. Um, we're broadcasting live from the Spirit Realm Network from Pennsylvania, from Pittsburgh. And I'm going to go ahead and pull for Jennifer tonight. See what's going on. And we're going to pull up. She gets the same, the Thorazaz. But for her, this means the thorn. And I feel like for you, my dear, that it's more about you having protection in your life. Because the Thorazaz is actually Thor's hammer, the Majorn. And I feel like there's really strong protection energy around you. And so, so sometimes you feel like you're always having to be careful of what you're saying and doing. And this is actually bringing you the energy of protection. We're going to go ahead and put that on your solar plexus and allow you to feel that confidence and strength so you can go ahead and let your other chakras flow. Let that creativity and beauty flow out of you. Let yourself feel comfortable in communicating the skills and talents that you have and not feel um, like you're confined by uh, a worry about judgment or anything else because the, you can bloom and shine and your thorns will protect you. So go ahead and step out of your shell and let yourself blossom and become the beautiful, lovely flower that you are and let everyone see. So let me know how that goes for you. I'm going to, I've never had a rune reading. It's Tanya or Curie Gout, Tanya. Um, you're here on the Spirit Realm Network. I'm Kathy Lewis. I'm doing free rune readings for you guys tonight. So go ahead and 
pop on. Let me know where you're from. Uh, the runes are an ancient alphabet, a tool from the Norse people about 150 AD, and they have become a gift of spiritual growth, information, um, like the I Ching, like the tarot cards, um, any divination tools. Um, I've, they've very connected with the chakras for me. Um, I do rune chakra classes. And for you, my dear, I pulled Ing. And Ing is the sign of the angels. It's divine information. And we're working on our um, crown chakra tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and put Ing on your crown chakra. And Tanya, I want you to, when you want something, I feel like you are willing to ask for it. And when you ask for it, I feel like you're connecting with the divine. Go ahead and see that ing, that angelic intervention, that divine magic, and bring that energy of ing into your uh, crown chakra. It'll help you to open up to communicate what you're trying to get across, that you're asking for, and it'll also help you to open up to receive the information that is being given back to you. So go ahead and feel that great energy. I feel like you like to tap into your divinity and this is going to help you to become more aware of the feedback that you're getting, the information you're getting back, that you have the angelic um, connection to go ahead and ask the angels to help you with things. And you can go ahead and ask because uh, we all have um, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, wh whoever, whatever you want to have from the other side that are just waiting to assist us and you feel the connection with the divine and you can ask for intervention for things for yourself for other people to protect people to love you know bring love or into situations a lot of times situations just need to be surrounded by love to help them to heal so you can go ahead and tap into that ing that double x that beautiful energy of the rune and the connection to the divine. And it's going to help you to recognize and manifest more of what you're asking for in your life. So you can go ahead and let me know how that resonates with you. Please like and share. You're on the Spirit Realm Network. I have a Connie Calder. Hello from Utah. Uh, that's a pretty area. I had a friend that was just out in that area visiting. Very, very beautiful. Hey, Connie, you're here on the Spirit Realm Network. I'm going to go ahead for Connie. We're going to bring in some of that amethyst energy. I know you guys were saying how it's just beautiful and it really looks great on camera because sometimes when I hold up a crystal and it's like you just can't get the breath of the depth of the beauty of the crystals in the camera, but that one's really shining tonight. We're really tapping into our amethyst. We're really tapping into that divine violet energy and helping us to connect with the divine okay connie let's see what the runes have to say for you tonight and and now you guys heard me mixing them up ing <laughs> ing is coming because we're working on this rune and the people that need this energy are coming out to get it and this is the energy of connecting with the divine. This is the energy of allowing yourself to be uh, and receive, ask and receive energies from the divine. So go ahead and tap into your innermost intentions and ask for guidance, ask for assistance. Ask for the synchronicities that you need to get these things accomplished. And go ahead and accept the information that you receive. It can be overhearing a conversation from someone else. It can be something on the radio. It can be something that someone just arbitrarily, which is not arbitrarily, says to you. And you're just going to so connect in with that energy that you're, you're going to be like, wow, that's exactly what I was just talking about. And the synchronicities will become clearer and clearer to you because you have asked for the you've asked for the guidance, you've asked for the help, you've asked for the assistance, and now you're open to receive because you're always helping other people. You're allowed to uh, be open to receive 
uh, these kinds of energies. So you're here on the Spirit Realm Network. I'm going to take a whiff of our lavender oil. Send that beautiful lavender oil. Um, I have someone asking about my activations. I do meditations, and then there's different kind of activations. I can activate, you know, self-confidence, um, trusting yourself. I have a, a whole bunch of different activations that I can do. Thank you, Connie. Really appreciate you guys. I'm glad you liked you liked your reading a lot. Yeah, you're really going to tap in. And, and this is what, you know, oh, never be sorry for asking a question. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of your energy. Faye Robbins, thank you for sharing. I'm going to go ahead and pull a room for you tonight. I love to see you guys here. I love you bringing new people in. The energy is fantastic. Uh, the amethyst, that very, we're, we're super high vibing tonight with our amethyst and our crown chakra. All of the chakras bring need to be working and resonating together to bring us um, peace, calm, joy, all the high vibrations. But we need to stay grounded and connected too. And Faye, for you tonight, I have Gifu. And Gifu, I'm having a little dyslexia with the camera, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and put that on your heart because that's the gift. And that's harmony. It takes two to tango. It's the, I, I don't like to use the word balance so much because it's not, it's not like you're putting things on a scale. It's like harmony and fluidity and allowing, um, yourself to be part of a team and trusting someone and recognizing a partnership and recognizing their strengths and your strengths, hold it up and keep it together for you. So we're going to go ahead and send that energy for you, Faye, open up your heart, be willing to give as you always are and be willing to receive because that's what keeps the harmony going. That's the yin yang of it all. That's what keeps us feeling um, like we're not uh, drained, like we're full and we're overflowing and we're feeling good because we're willing to receive as well as give. And you're such a giver that it's time to allow some of that energy back so you can get that harmony and that flow and help you to feel like you're satiate, satiated with your cup overflowing and there'll be so much extra for everyone including yourself so let me know how that resonates with you i have a beverly dickinson from dallas what a nice area huh okay beverly you guys are here on the spirit realm network i'm kathy lewis i'm doing free rune readings tonight this is the secrets of the golden runes and we are bringing in crystal energy we're bringing in aromatherapy, we're bringing in rune energy, we're bringing in sound energy with our um, Tibetan singing bowls and the bells. we got the beautiful Native American flute music. Uh, Carlos Nakai is amazing. I just love his music. And so we're allowing all of these different things to help us to bring... Uh, healing and clearing to our chakras help them to spin at the proper speed and beverly i'm going to go ahead and tap into you my dear and i'm pulling from my io horus runes and this is jira and jira is the harvest and it's the perfect time of year for you to be receiving the harvest of all the hard work effort um things that you've done for other people um, things that you've tended to, planted, cared for, it's time for you to start receiving back. Open up your mind, heart, and soul to receiving the things that you have put energy into. We're like ripples out into the universe and everything we send out comes back. And yes, Cher saying she, she liked her reading. And so let that energy come back to you and allow that ripple effect that you have sent out to bring you that that harmony that we're that we're talking about allow and you see it's the less than greater signs and they're in harmony together and so all the energies that you have given out are coming back to you 
open your mind, heart, and soul and allow them to come back. I, I feel like there's so much coming for you. The abundance of the universe is heading your way. So go ahead and allow it to come to you. And you are going to just be overwhelmed with the things that, um, all the things you've done for people. And once you start opening that up, Things are going to just come from the most unexpected places. You're going to be amazed. Let me know how that resonates with you, my dear. I have Jane O'Connor from New York. Yes, I will pull you a room tonight. Um, we're working on the crown chakra. We're being very connected with the divine. I'm going to go ahead and spray just a little bit of my frankincense and sage spray that I make. I call it the clear the air. And it keeps the energy good. Uh, frankincense is very high vibrational as well as sage. And it clears energy but also brings in high vibration energy. I have moon water in there. And I have crystals. You can hear them. All right. Uh, quartz crystals. Okay, Jane. Let's see what the runes have to say for you. You're very welcome, Jennifer. I'm glad you liked your reading. You guys are amazing tonight. The energy is just powerful. Um, now for you, I pulled Pedro. And this rune means the cup. And this is very strong feminine energy. It's the receptive energy. It's the, once again, allowing yourself to receive. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on your heart chakra. Because I feel like you need to allow love, abundance, strength, attention, time, all of those things that you are have coming from the universe, from all of the wonderful things you have done for people are coming back to you and your cup is going to overflow and you're going to allow those energies to come in. You're going to recognize because when we ask for things or we do things or we want things or we have intentions, a lot of times our logical brains will decide how it's going to go now. But it, the universe works in mysterious ways. We get things from unexpected sources. We don't get to always know how. I mean, how boring would life be if we had it all figured out? I mean, open your mind, heart, and soul to the different ways that things can come to you, the different ways that you can get energy, the different ways that things can happen. And you will, you, once you start allowing that energy in, like I said, it'll just come from every direction. And that self-love and self-care that you're going to give yourself is going to allow your cup, your Pedro, to fill up and be full and overflowing. And allow that energy to come to you. Allow yourself to drink it, drink it in. Allow yourself to be um, given the gifts of the universe. Let that come to you. Well, thank you, Ashley, so much. I I'm so glad you guys are all having an amazing time. Um, Shelly Marie Man Hong. I don't know. I'm probably not saying your name right, darling, but I'm going to go ahead and pull a room for you, Shelly Marie. And you're here on the Spirit Realm Network. I'm Kathy Lewis. I have the Golden Pathways. I am a Reiki Master. I do um, integrated soul activations, which are meditations, and I do uh, rune consultations. And I use rune energies are not only for divination, but they're very healing. They're very strong. You can use runes, uh, the chariot radio, which looks like the letter R, like that's for travel, and that protects you in travel. And so when you're getting in your car, you can put radio on your car and protect you in your travel. Okay, Shelly. I have Horus, and you are getting Daeg, which is the rune that I was pulling and talking about the dawn. And this is um, like bright light coming on you, new beginnings, allowing that break of dawn, like a complete turnaround in your life, allowing that energy to come in, allowing yourself to be open to the newness. Allow the past to be the past. Let it go. Take it out of your trunk. Quit carrying it around with you. Live for now in the moment. The sun shining upon you. There's great things happening. 
and you need to allow that to be. You need to quit, forgive yourself for allowing things to happen, allowing things to happen. The thing is, the decisions that you made at the time that you made them were, were what you thought was correct to do. So quit beating yourself up for it. Move forward. Come on. Let's live in the moment. You have a whole new chance, the dawn of a new day for you. I feel it like it's so amazing and bright and you just need to let it come and quit beating yourself up for things from the past. You're living here and now. You're doing a great job. You're in the perfect and divine time, exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And go ahead and allow yourself to enjoy the moment and enjoy this new beginning that you're being offered. Let me know how that resonates with you, my dear. Ashley Marie, is that? Just want to make sure because sometimes I get a little, <laughs> get a little caught up in the moment. And forget, did I read for Ashley? I don't know why you seem so familiar. That's how it works with me sometimes, though. So Ashley Marie Durham. Marie. You're here on the Spirit Realm Network. Please like and share. I'm pulling runes for you guys tonight. We've got this amazing high-vibing... Um, chakra energy going our crown chakras are just blazing with energy Connie I'm glad you liked your reading open to receive you guys this is Ewas and Ewas is the two horses and if you look at the how the two horses it looks like the letter M but it's actually the letter E in the alphabet and this is how join together two opposites, two balanced and uh, perfectly corresponding energies can work together to bring things forward. So allow yourself to receive the receptive energies of things that you are very strong and powerful. But there are things in your life that if you got help with, you would be able to excel to such a point. You know how they'll say, oh, it's one horsepower. Well, two horsepower is not just double one horsepower. It's way exponentially more because two horses, two people, two minds, two like thinkers, two opposite but like-minded people can make a huge difference. And so allow the energy of this other person to help you to move forward because it's going to bring you so much more not only energy but relief of stress relief of drama relief of worry like it's just going to bring you so much ease and joy into your life allow it to come allow yourself to work with someone and recognize your strengths and their strengths and how they can work together to um, help you move forward. Oh, good, Ashley. I'm glad you liked your reading. Yay. All right, guys. Okay, Connie. Yes. Good. I'm so glad. I'm glad you are liking your reading. Thank you for sharing. Kara Geese, I am going to read for you tonight, my dear. You're here on this... Uh, Spirit Realm Network, please like and share. I'm Kathy Lewis, the host of The Secrets of the Golden Runes, and we are pulling runes and having a great time. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. I love this time of year. This energy is just, you know, it reminds me of when you're out and you're, like, you see the horses in the field. They're just so frisky and feisty, and they just love the cooler weather, and they're just ready to go crazy. And that's where we're at. <laughs> indulging in this amazing energy and this for you Kara is Isa. Isa me literally means ice but it is a cooling off period and I feel like you're going at it too hard you're working too hard you need to take a little step back and chill out we're going to give you the chill pill we're going to put this right on your solar plexus 
allow yourself a break allow yourself to take a step back and let the situation cool down and as it cools down that ice is going to melt away and you're going to see all the beauty that's there and so that slowing down that um, helping you to enjoy the moment helping you to enjoy every moment and be mindful and savor everything that's happening because I feel like you're going a little too fast and sometimes it stresses you out sometimes it frustrates you sometimes it's overwhelming and you need to slow down and allow yourself to have a few moments and you're gonna just kick back and look at all the beauty around you and savor it and drink it in and it's going to be amazing and you're going to see that stress that frustration and all of that energy start to melt away from your life let me know how that resonates with you Mona Cuera Q <laughs> I'm sorry Cuersa I'm trying and yes I'm going to read for you Mona you guys have amazing energy tonight I'm gonna to go ahead and one more time share this amazing amethyst because I just think the energy of it is really helping with our readings tonight. It's really helping us to be in connect with our divine energy. And we're going to sniff a little lavender oil for Mona before we pull a room for her. And let's see how, what we can tap in for you. Please like and share. Tell your friends. We have amazing shows. Metaphysical, paranormal, um, just so much fun on here I just love it and we're pulling from the eye of Horus runes eye of Horus is the power of the Sun and the moon very cool I do have a statue of Horus over here I'll show you this is Answas and this is for your throat chakra and I can really feel my throat chakra tightening up when I'm talking to you so I'm gonna put Answas this is the symbol of the mouth this is a symbol of good communication of hearing understanding and communicating and I um, also the rune stands for Odin who is the one who brought the runes to the people and so I'm gonna I'll try to help you to communicate I feel like <clears throat> a lot of times you hold back and you walk on eggshells and you don't know if someone's gonna be mad if you say that and you probably are thinking that maybe you shouldn't say that go ahead and say what you think use diplomacy because diplomacy is telling someone something and making them look forward to it so even if it's something that is upsetting you and you don't communicate it in an angry way and you just say hey it would be really nice if I didn't feel like you were being mean to me today or why are you being mean to me today and like kind of turn that situation around instead of getting into a confrontation I feel like you could communicate it let it out don't hold it in in frustration or stress because the throat chakra backs up all the other chakras like they're all connected and everything has to flow so allow the information to come out of you you don't have to be angry when you're communicating even if you're frustrated or angry take a couple of breaths and be like hey you know this is making me uncomfortable or um, I really that's making me feel bad that you're saying that or however it is that you want to make the other person understand that you they're stepping on your healthy boundaries here and you're really not gonna have it anymore so you're setting healthy boundaries for yourself you're making yourself your space sacred your energy sacred and you're also letting them know how they're making other people feel so I think for you we're gonna give you that answer was I'm gonna put on your um, solar plexus I'm just gonna go ahead and put eel and we're gonna pull out any stuck energies there and allow eel is the L power strength because I feel like your throat chakra gets so tense because you're worried about what you're saying to people and I feel like it could flow out of you like beautiful honey and just amazing melodical sound so go ahead and speak your mind with ease and grace 
let me know how that resonates with you. Marigold, what a pretty name. You sound just like a flower. And yes, I'm, she's from Southern California. And we're going to go ahead and tap into your energy. I'm going to give you some beautiful Mother Earth chakra energy. And you're on the Spirit Realm Network. Please like and share. Tell your friends. Pull in runes tonight. Have an amazing time. Okay. And for you, my dear, I have Bjork. Bjork means birth. Now, don't panic. I don't know if you are, but I kind of feel like you did for a second. Birth does not necessarily mean a human birth. Birth is a birth of a project, a birth of a, something you've nurtured, the birth of something new and amazing. So I feel like you've been thinking about working on something and you've kind of been working on it and you're waiting till that exact perfect moment to bring it out and show everyone. And you know what? You don't have to wait because sometimes when things come out into the light, like a plant, you know, it grows up out of the ground, it's in the dirt, it comes out, sees the sunlight, now it's an amazing flower. So bring it out, show it the sunlight, let it come out and and have its own um, time in the sun and allow people to help you to bring information to help you grow it and, sh and share it. And, and it's going to have a ripple effect and you're going to feel great and it's going to open up all that creative juices that you have that are ready to flow because the more you hold it back you're not allowing anything else to come in either and you're not sharing with others and it's not rippling out into the universe like it needs to so go ahead share your gifts show them be proud of them they're wonderful there's nothing to wait for there's no perfect um anything divine time is for you now let it come out. It's time to birth your project and show everybody about it. All right. Ashley Marie. Okay, we read for you, my dear. Let me know how that resonates with you. You are here. You're welcome, Connie. I hope you guys are enjoying your readings. Good, good. And yes, I love my background music. That is Carlos Nakai, wonderful Native American flutist. He is amazing. You're very welcome, Faye. I hope you guys, are, these are resonating with you. Uh, Laura Fetz, going to read for Laura. You're here on the Spirit Realm Network. I'm Kathy Lewis from the Golden Pathways. Um, you can check out my page. I do, um, I'm a Reiki master, so I do remote Reiki. I do uh, rune consultations and I do meditations with activations that I can help clear different energies, clear your chakras. It's amazing. And thank you guys for coming tonight. The energies are fantastic. Um, I have a beautiful Herkimer diamond here. Where is it? Here it is. That I got from. Hermosa Bruja, beautiful Carrie, and her amazing Herkimer Diamond. We're bringing that energy in tonight. I'm feeling Laura. My throat chakra is tightening up when I'm pulling for you. And this is Dag, the Dawn. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on your um, crown chakra. But I'm feeling a lot of throat things going on for you. So I feel like um, sometimes you, you don't feel that people listen to you when you speak. And so you've just kind of taken to the turn now that sometimes you're just not going to say anything because people aren't listening to you anyway. Do not ever feel that way. I'm going to put answers on your throat chakra because everything you have to communicate is important. Your opinions, your thoughts, your expressions, your divinity is coming out. And I'll, you go ahead and say and feel and sing and stand up and be yourself and be proud. We're going to put Eel the Elk on your solar plexus to help you bring that confidence. Because I feel for you that you need to go ahead and open up your throat chakra. Communicate what you need to communicate. Because that is the when you're little, everybody's like, oh, look, they're walking and talking. Now sit down and shut up. You know, we're not sitting down and shutting up. We're not being put in a little box. 
We're not being put on the shelf. So allow yourself, keep speaking your opinions. You'll find the people that need to hear what you have to say. You'll find the people that appreciate what you have to say. And you'll see the people that are not respecting your boundaries and not respecting what your opinions are or what you have to say. And they don't have to agree with you to be a friend. They just have to respect that you have your own opinions. Theirs can differ and that's okay. They don't have to agree with you. But you are allowed to speak your mind and you should be allowed to communicate freely. And we're going to open that up so you can because you have tons of wonderful things to say and your audience is out there waiting for you. So don't let people tell you that what you have to say isn't important. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boy, your throat shock is killing me, babe. Okay. Who else do we have here? Tiffany Hosenfield. Um, Marie, you look. Uh, I know I probably didn't say that right, babe. I'm sorry. Uh, message from Rochester. I used to live in Rochester, New York, actually, a long time ago, which is very interesting. Oh, yes, Melissa. I love my Clear the Air Spray, too, and thank you, S. Melissa knows all about my Clear the Air Spray. <laughs> Don't you, my dear? You're here on the Spirit Realm Network. Please like and share. Next week, we're going to talk about our Soul Star Chakra, which is actually one of the chakras that is not in our physical body, but above our body and helps us to connect with the divine. So we're going to be working on that next week. Pulling my eye of Horus for Tiffany Radio. It's time, Tiff, for you to take a trip. A little road trip. Get out of the house. Blow the stink off. You're starting to feel like you're part of the couch. Get out and have some fun. You don't have to go far. You don't even have to stay overnight. I just feel like you need some wind in your air. Some The leaves are turning beautiful this time of year. Go out and get some of that beautiful scenery. Take a little road trip, even if it's just for two, three hours. Go down to the wine country. Go down to the Finger Lakes. Whatever's cool for you. And see the beauty and get out of the house. This is all about you. Radio, put this rune on your car when you go to travel. It's a protection rune. It's for good travel. And it's time for you to take a trip for fun and joy. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right on your heart chakra so it helps you to get out of the house and have a good time. And just, I mean, you don't have to go far. Like I said, you don't even have to stay overnight. Just get out and get some beauty. Like you need that energy of a little road trip. It doesn't have to be far. And you can go by yourself or you can take your favorite person who's stress-free stress and fun for you. So go ahead and do it. It's time for you to do that. And Ashley pulled for you, my dear. And Layla Parga. Okay, Layla, this is it for tonight, guys. Um, you're here on the Spirit Realm Network. Please like and share. I will be back again next Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, pulling runes for you guys. Tell your friends. Come and check it out. And thank you guys for showing up. Your energy is amazing. And Layla, I'm pulling Siegel the Sun, and that's one of the runes that we were using for our uh, crown chakra. And I want you to feel the sun upon your face. I want you to feel the energy of the divine masculine coming in and bringing you amazing energy. I feel the warm sunshine on your face. And you need to just bask in this energy of you. Self-love, self-care, um, amazing. Allow yourself to fill up with this energy because you drain yourself. You work too hard. You need a balance of work and play, and I want you to just relax and feel yourself basking in the sun. Whether it's sunny out or not, there's sun on you. Allow yourself to drink it in and allow it to become part of your energy. You, you drain yourself because you don't allow yourself that time. So drink it in, feel great, seagull the sun, beautiful warm uh, divine energy. And I'm going to go ahead and say thank you to the north and the earth. 
and the buffalo for bringing us stability and strength tonight and the beautiful greens and browns to the uh, west in the water and the bear and the beautiful um, energy of emotional healing the south and the fire and the passion and the protection and the wolf and the energy of red and the east and the air and the eagle and healing and knowledge that was brought to our circle tonight um, circles never broken you can keep this wonderful energy in I'm gonna ground you guys take a nice deep breath let it out I will see you next Friday night we're gonna be working on the soul star chakra have an amazing weekend and thank you so much for bringing your amazing energies tonight have a great one